DaVinci Resolve for noobs. If your projects are lagging out and struggling in DaVinci Resolve, let me give you a tip that can actually help out. In your project settings, if you scroll down, you'll see an option for optimize media and render cache. And at the very top, you'll see options for proxy media. Now proxy media is simply Resolve making copies of your files that are a little bit easier for the system to work with. Now by default, it says choose automatically, but you can change that to smaller increments. If you're only suffering a little bit of lag every now and then, you could choose half. If you're having more lag, definitely go for a quarter. And if your system is really struggling, you can switch down to an eighth or a sixteenth. Now for the proxy media format, you've got all these different options. Now at the very top, you'll see H.264 and H.265, which a lot of creators are used to recording in and think are positive formats, but they're really designed for playback and they're horrible for editing. The reason is, is that both of these are built with a lot of compression, H.265 even more than H.264, so that file sizes can be kept small and played back easier on places like YouTube. But if you try to edit with these file types, Resolve is constantly having to decompress and work with them in real time. You're much better off making copies in one of these other DNxHR codecs. Now DNxHR stands for Avid's Digital Nonlinear Extensible High Resolution Codec, and it's designed specifically for editing and post-production workflows, especially high resolution media. Now these are all just different qualities of that codec, and in most cases, I would recommend either HQX or HQ. HQX supports 12-bit color depths if you're using DaVinci Resolve Studio, that's a great choice, but the free version only supports 8-bit, so if you're using DaVinci Resolve Free, HQ is probably a better choice. Once you're done, just click Save, but you have a few more steps that you need to take. First, you have to create these proxy files. So go up to your media file, select the files that you'd like to create proxy media files for, right click and scroll down to generate proxy media. Now a pop-up window will appear and it'll start generating those proxy files. And depending on what resolution your original files are, how big they are, how strong your system is, and how many files you have, that will determine the amount of time it will take for Resolve to generate these proxy media files. Now once you're done, what you wanna do is go up to the playback menu and scroll down and under the proxy handling option, turn on prefer proxies. And what you'll notice is any of your files that you've created proxy media for, will suddenly have that proxy media indicator in the lower left. And Resolve will start using the proxy versions of those files. When it comes time to export, don't worry about the quality of your project. If you scroll down under your render settings and open up the advanced settings, you'll see that by default, Resolve does not use optimized media, proxy files, or render cached images in your final export unless you tell it to do so. So make sure these are all unticked and you'll be good to go.